much, Angela. Thanks for putting together the beautiful clips. And thank you, all of you. I, I can tell you, I've been backstage in a lot of places, the White House, the Capitol. Nothing's better than being backstage at the State Theater tonight. Like, what an amazing group of musicians, 30 bands, everyone helping out. Um, just when you see those pictures of those people, you realize it's not just numbers. It's not just damage estimates. Um, it's real people that are our neighbors. And I just want to first thank the mayor for leading such a tremendous response. Um, it was just uh, unbelievable. It, it shows again that ours is as big as our our arms are all knows when things go wrong, right? We don't back off. If it's a 35W bridge, if it's North Minneapolis, we stand up for the citizens of the state and of this city. And when I saw those 2,000 volunteers uh, last weekend, Mayor, incredible from all over our state, just like you're doing here tonight. And those musicians, uh, Larry, Robert, everyone I heard, they're like angels. Uh, they're angels, they sing like angels, but they're also angels for the people in North Minneapolis. Because they gave up their night tonight, it could have been a lot of other places. You came here too. You're helping people that you may never meet. But I say on their behalf, thank you, thank you, and thank you, Mayor. You know, from the trash men to Prince and Flight Time to Rhyme Sayers and everybody in between, the incredible musicians of this city have had a sound of their own. But I think the Minneapolis sound we are really celebrating tonight is the sound of one neighbor looking at another neighbor who is in need and just simply saying, how do I help? And when you think about what's happened over these past couple of weeks, we've heard that over and over again. We've heard the sound of a hammer or a saw in someone's backyard, surprising a person who may have never met the person, as that new stranger came to a new friend and said, how do I help? And we've heard that when a car pulls up to the front door of an elderly woman who may be a shut-in and someone delivers the prescription that she's needed, We've heard the teacher look in the eye of a kid who she knows has been through incredible things and ask that question that, of course, there's no simple answer to, which is how do you feel? The sounds of Minneapolis these past couple weeks have been incredible sounds. But what's really important is to say that we're going to have to do this for a while. This is not a simple thing. We did an amazing thing with the bridge. But you know what? People weren't living on the bridge. The bridge didn't impact the most needy people in this community. And what we need to say is that tonight is not just a celebration, it's a rally. And a rally to really say that tomorrow morning we are right back at it and we will continue to work harder. And no one needs to tell the people of this community to step up when there's time that's needed. Amy said it so well that there were 2,000 people last Saturday and there have been more than 5,000 people who've helped already. That's 10,000 arms wrapped around North Minneapolis and we need to keep going. And the next big wave is we're going to come in with Habitat and Urban Homeworks and Rebuilding Together and all those efforts that are going to be about asking each of you, pick up a paintbrush, pick up a hammer, help someone who is in need because something amazing has happened. The spirit of North Minneapolis, those of us who work in North Minneapolis know what this place is about. Now the whole community knows what this is about. And North Minneapolis right now, with all these arms wrapped around it, is also showing what an amazing place it is. And when you come to North Minneapolis, it is. And when you come to North Minneapolis, the arms will wrap around you too. Because right now there is no North Minneapolis and the rest of North Minneapolis, as it was said. We are all North Minneapolis. Are you ready to continue to help this amazing place? Wait a minute, I, I thought they were going to think you and I were going to sing a duet. <laughs> yeah, maybe this is going to be. Oh, this you will were going to go crowd surfing again, like you can do. The one thing that, unlike First Avenue, this has a little gap, so I'm not doing it. <laughs> but I want, want, want us to welcome one of the great musical acts of this community, They're one of my absolute favorites. Um, the new standards represent artists from some of the great places in this community. They have amazing things. I think it's been way too long since that last CD, which I have worn out. So it is time for them to have a new one, do you think? They sing in the fall. But please welcome one of the great acts from this community. And again, part of an amazing collection of artists tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, the new standards. 